And fortunately or unfortunately, I have to make another video on the same topic. Just a minute. That is, um, um, I think yesterday I posted on the uh, X and uh, a gentleman replied today saying that, uh, just a minute. Yeah, the gentleman name is Larkin Magnus. He has replied jingoism. The, the point, the question I have asked is, according to Indians or India, America should not arrest any Indian in USA, whatever the crimes my fellow buddies do here. Our guys attack even if you make a reporting video on Indian's crime here. What do you call this attitude? Jingoism. Now I recollect when um, one IFS lady, Indian Foreign Services, uh, she is corrupt in India and uh, she is posted to USA a couple of years ago. Body frisking or something they did. In that topic also I did research and I placed a video. Then in my neighbor in New Jersey used to shout at me, how come you support that? So American cops uh, went and uh, arrested her. She is an IFS lady, foreign, it's like an ambassador. It is because she has a servant maid at home and uh, doing this library and um, that lady has complained. Okay, then the uh, Indians started attacking. This is a politics, this is this, this is that. The same thing, these two girls who were arrested in the robbery or uh, shoplifting. Some idiots are uh, started attacking. I don't understand uh, what is this. See, for example, I saw 19 minutes video on X and I placed four and a half minutes. 4 minutes 25 seconds English video and 4 minutes Telugu video okay I don't need views man I don't need money I from YouTube especially and I never beg please subscribe like share right so that also I'm not striving or thriving or hungry and that video went around 8053 views in less than April 9th, I, paid, I kept the video. Today's 12th, right? 10th, 11th, 12th. Three days it went to 8,000 views. I did not request, right? My like-minded people, I place a video. So, this is the topic. Then, uh, this is what happened. And one gentleman from uh, uh, Mumbai wrote an email. Sir, I watched your video. And I told people are attacking. Then he said because they feel that it might affect their lives. And in the quotes, the second line is very interesting. Instead, some Indians should take a stand and say law is equal for everyone in USA. This is not the case in India. That's why this gentleman wrote. In India, if you do a shoplifting, sorry, most likely the security guard of the shop or the store will kick you or kill you or the owner might kick you or kill you and if opposite sex they may molest also or rape we don't know that is the kind of situation in india and in india if you get uh, if you cops trying to arrest you and they came to know you are a son of mla politician or an is officer or a ips officer they will sell you to and go they don't arrest so they need a lot of guts to do that Though law is equal for everyone in India and the US, it is not implemented properly in India is a pro basic problem. In spite of it, Indians should boldly stand and say yes. When there is a crime, say crime is a crime, wrong is wrong. You cannot say they are from India. Uh, some wrote on Twitter yesterday one American lady from California started attacking and uh, whatever she is abusing me you don't have skill you are moving what is this what is the topic shoplifting and she came and uh, personally attacking me and another guy also wrote uh, how can the police judge uh, based on the video we have to wait for the judge uh, judgment and all and some they wrote in hindi chutia that means something bad words is thought of so they may not be a bad word but he started abusing me 
just because you are re- reporting it man somebody write a comment what if if your daughter is dying you if you what the fuck man so if somebody report something in news do you kill them do you attack them do you kill the messenger i don't understand this uh, fucking attitude of indians man that's why i posted a question yesterday and uh, uh, around 23 votes are there i have asked like according to indians or india the same thing i posted right and uh, bad so 13% over is 9% lack of respect for laws and immigration laws 52% excess love for india or indians and hate for america one line 4% and all of them both 22% jingoism now i recollect that uh, i forgot that video at that time that recruiter from one uh, body shop uh, encouraged me to make that video uh, and that i forgot the name also let me i was in canada i think at that time so i went for canada 2013 december I went for canada us visa stamping so from there i think i placed that video i will uh, re add that some people may cry with the sorry or adding old clips i can't help it jingoism example that video also people started attacking me just like uh, this video also like uh, uh, shoplifting right thank you thank thank you for watching and uh, i don't uh, give any damn fuck to haters avinash yesterday wrote telugu he started a filthy comments he for in english people to understand uh, gochi it's called like an underwear type like that is the only last piece of cloth he wants to donate to me and he has a buffalos in his uh, he's a rich guy but fucking asshole is working in is running a body shop he told me sitting in america why are you scolding um, indians that i watched that video after he wrote a comment and i uh, i did not scold all indians i scold only the body shops who are not paying salaries that means this guy has avinash as a body shop owner or he might be a broker to a girls or a girl supply company in america or maybe a body shop owner then he started abusing me what is this man i am not saying all our body shops are bad i am saying only the salaries instead of working at client side not paying salaries only then what that fucking asshole wrote he has buffalos so he will give it to me and he asked me to go back to his farm and take care why your father is dead your wife is dead fucking asshole why should i take care of your uh, farm house so another guy happy good he also wrote saying that uh, begging you not to re- what is the release names man police department has released the names right so i don't understand this uh, jing- they are all comes under jingoism and one wrote uh, filthy thugs they are jingoism on filthy thugs yeah thank you i will add this clip on that clip also for example for jingoism thank you hi friends uh, i'm recording this for my indian friends who are in india and uh, in across the globe um, this this video is exclusively for um, the case regarding the devayani cobra garde in new york indian diplomat uh, i'm giving the facts i'm talking the truth so there is no uh, hidden agenda like our indian bureaucracy hypocrisy and uh, politicians okay be fair be honest think by common sense don't post um, bad or negative comments what i'm saying is uh, th- you think by your common sense not by um, not by blind leading the blind in india right public okay now come point 1 uh, devayani kobrigadi is a lying bitch she is a bitch she is telling outright little lie being an indian in new york i closely following the indian news and uh, washington post and i don't like i feel ashamed the way india she is behaving and india politicians is behaving and uh, my not only me my friends green card holders indians us citizens everybody feeling very bad disappointed the way india is handling this case just to save her skin uh, she di- she and the paid indian indian media paid media misguided the entire um, public in india and uh, now comes to the topic she did two blunders she crimes one is visa fraud very severe crime in america the second is underpaying her uh, babysitter low wages it's a big labor offense uh, 
these two are our crimes the second point is america is not india like uh, uh, like we know right it is not uh, no need to mention all the points like uh, how indian officers violate how politicians violate uh, is there any honest politician in india you name it so no right so then uh, don't listen to the indian media indian politicians okay and then the second thing is uh, she did a strip search strip search is remove the coat but not the uh, naked search naked search is called the cavity search and uh, she, i read her email address to our colleagues on internet um, it's available on the internet so uh, it's very bad she didn't mention her uh, uh, frauds she did and the third one is Uh, nobody is talking about sangeeta the poor sangeeta i mean the domestic indian worker uh, hired by her and uh, in i would really appreciate and love india if india could step in and uh, the safeguard her modesty and support her instead of devyani because devyani is lying just since uh, they are all of one poor class people or um, the politicians bureaucrats and all they think that they can safeguard uh, themselves if they do any kind of blunder no that is possible in india but not possible in america because america is not india that every uh, official must remember it and uh, the next point is uh, she tortured by devyani the sangeeta pur sangeeta is tortured by her and she is under visa immigration fraud and uh, fraud crime and human trafficking crime also so how do you uh, I, if america agrees um, uh, to the lady and uh, forgive her i mean th- there is a million dollar question every indian get here like if that case every indian employer bring uh, an h1b consultant and uh, pay under wages so do you accept it then if the avyani case is ruled out then every uh indian employer also ruled out that while it there it's it give a weak signal um uh to every indian employers here and uh, the, it should give a, america should give a strong signal message to the every indian living on this globe or in, in especially in america and uh, the next one uh yeah la, the basic bottom of the line is all are equal all are men or equally created by god all are equal in front of law and justice nobody is above law it doesn't matter whether prince of uh, elizabeth uh, king of abdullah saudi arabia or whatever it is president or common man everybody is equal on this earth nobody is above law and uh, there is some posted uh, she is a diplomat uh, should be treated differently no when commit crime uh, she is a human being right she is not a um, diplomat or uh, she is Uh, she doesn't have any dignity right when committing the crime so when punishing it she has to undergo the same role because nobody is above law nobody is exempted and uh, in india unfortunately i'm following the indian news as well uh, the everybody every politician they pass very bad statements um, about american see neither america adopt me nor i adopt but as a human being i'm reacting it and uh, telling the truth to my fellow indian friends there and blind media is misleading india and then blind leaders are uh, misleading the uh, public india is not a largest uh, democracy india is purely a kleptocracy form of government ruling by uh, unethical immortal barbaric act kind of politicians that's what i saw yesterday lalu prasad yadav shu feet was cleaned by uh, top cop uh, top cops so what is that Uh, what is the message they are sending it it is very uh, insane so if those guys talk about uh, uh, america law then uh, there is no meaning in it because law is ultimate here america is beautiful because of the law and uh, law is ultimate here and the law is for uh, everyone everybody is equal and uh, no exemptions for anyone and uh, people i have already noticed uh, i support the avyani page started so people in india should think by common sense listen to the heart and uh, find out the truth read the truth and not by following by politicians media for example cobra garde i guess if she is from maharashtra part of india then all maharashtrians loving her so she did a crime it's wrong anybody did crime in america america is not india if anybody cr- did a crime in america uh, they have to face the law okay they, i can't go and give hugs and kisses to the uh, that guy just because he he or she is from india no that 
that is uh, unethical uh, in human activity and people talk about sangeeta who is going to talk about uh, sangeeta right she is uh, hired and uh, paid and ripped off she was tortured then why don't uh, if our politicians are honest or is or ifs guys are honest they would have talk about her not the devayani devayani is just simply lying and uh, yeah that's what i want to communicate clearly to all indians don't uh, misled by the information and i saw many uh, students in india coming to america for study in abroad working abroad don't misled by this kind of uh, information and uh, i think yeah I, i thought of communicate the points to you yes give me a minute yeah that's it and um, uh don't support the crime with criminal favoring mind be honest be, uh, be honest be positive and uh, trying to know the truth uh, don't mislead by the politicians and uh, some of the i'm not saying all are bad but my, i worked in ap government also i know how uh, inhuman uh, criminal uh, slavery mind of uh, bureaucrats enter the bureaucracy and uh, they ill treat the contract employees and fellow colleagues i know uh, i have already mentioned in the worst work cultures of india okay there are honest administrators i know i work with them but uh, majority we don't come across uh, honesty honest people um, both the politicians and the bureaucrats so it should be an eye opening session for everybody they m- must learn and they have to live the double standards and they have to think by Uh, positive attitude and uh, america is uh, i can say this from my observations america is way behind uh, perfection it crossed 10000 miles uh, from the perfection it, they are that far and we not even uh, we have a mind our politicians and bureaucrats everybody mindset is uh, 18th and 19th century and uh, they they are all classified as one section of class they think that lies only for poor man and common man no america everybody is equal law is equal not only america on this earth everybody is equal in front of law nobody is above law that is a bottom line every human being uh, must remember it every second and uh, don't treat don't if somebody did a crime like for example uh, so many you name any can you name one honest politician in india you name any politician is involved either in crime crimes criminal uh, mafia so there are people follow them by caste and color and um, creed the same thing uh, they are applying for the bureaucracy no uh, be honest if you are heading for uh, america be honest be fair and uh, be truthful to the uh, law and uh, god okay don't support the crime with criminal mind and think about sangeeta not devayani devayani is lying she is outrightly lying the uh, bitch she is a bitch she is protecting to save our skin she is um, misled the india and the indian people and um, indian media this is very serious offense if any honest politician has to take care into consideration and support sangeeta okay good luck friends uh, happy ugadi for all the telugu people are who are celebrating it ugadi is a new year in uh, india i just saw a video uh us tech workers i follow them on twitter now it's called lex right uh, maybe the 17 minutes uh, let us consider it's around uh, 18 minutes video sorry 19 minutes it's a body cam uh, camera of a cops two telugu girls i didn't read comments before i was that video on the x but later i realized they already posted it's telugu people two telugu girls age 20 or 21 22 subject to corrections they were arrested and taken to the police headquarters there what is that i don't understand is there are cameras everywhere in western countries it's not in india right like shoplifting is you buy one item okay but in your bag or the trolley you have another 10 items you pay bill for the dollars whatever ca- ca- card or cash for only one items but for remaining 10 items you didn't pay 
wantedly you went out of the store and there will be a buzzer or sound and the door it comes or sometimes sometimes may not but whoever watching you on the cameras will come and take you to the their uh, custody room whatever so then it's called the remaining 10 items whatever you didn't pay it's called stealing it's called shoplifting in a us terms then you are gone most likely if you are not a green card holder gc i don't know but non immigrants they will be deported because it's a crime you committed a crime you are arrested means your life get fucked up in us so better go back to india or home country is the only better option or best option that is one second many people they steal uh, i don't see many but some people they remove the tag and uh, try to see like um, it won't uh, buzz right at the entrance that also very dangerous thing so the, when i watched the video sorry i felt like so sad they took they might have taken huge loan right in india their parents are well off how can they do pretty things man i don't know no comment i law will take its own course that is the beauty of america you, you see they bring great shame to india is one gentleman wrote then i said yes in spite of cameras they are stealing and took huge loans for the studies and the stealing items for 100 bucks is I, what i wrote and you just take uh, uh, um, they are basically displaced americans and americans fighting for uh, they wrote comments and this girl and the car so in the cops uh, car she is asking will this affect us for h1b process or any job officer said in course yes if they run your information it's going to show that you are arrested once you are arrested you will not get any job mm, especially in it most indians means it right and uh, the us tech workers for posted some of the stuff also where are they basically telugu people <laughs> <laughs> means this is what americans are thinking online man. so sad i mean because you see body shops corrupt hiring managers everywhere telugu people and if one telugu guy get arrested one or two then news will blast here and they also posted the link how telugu indian graduates should oh uh, that article also so sad thank you friends hi friends um, everyone i place screenshots uh, video um i'm not sure uh, whether you, you can uh, able to understand or not uh, so i just thought of place the same thing in uh, english for uh, non telugu speakers Uh, there are two uh, film actors in india one name is uh, balakrishna um, in uh, nickname they call people call uh, balaya and the other name is uh, um, pawan kalyan pk people call pk so so in india in usa most of the indians uh, hindi speaking and uh, especially telugu speaking of course th- some tamilians also they have their fan following uh, whoever the film actors uh, leading uh, i hit the racket in while well, playing tennis at uh, tennis in the evening that's what i'm looking and uh, um, so the fan following they have a fan base here and uh, the political parties in india two major parties national parties and 2000 regional parties also have branches in usa including rss right and uh, hindu right wing so that's what happened and uh, so there are uh, the pk fans celebrating uh, a fest uh, like um, so they are arranging some event and pawan uh, kalyan is uh, one he full actor and his brother charanjeevi Uh, uh big posters they ho- they kept in a hall i think maybe a function hall whatever and uh, uh, they are celebrating some event and uh, in india uh, the balakrishna uh, uh, where the 
ಕಮ್ಮ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ಅಮೇರಿಕ ಕಮ್ಮ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಲೈಮ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ ಹೀರೋ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪವನ್ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ್ ವೇರ್ ಕಾಪು ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ಅಮೇರಿಕ ಕ್ಲೈಮ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಹೀರೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಎ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಜನಸೇನ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಟಿ ವಿ ಲೈವ್ ಶೋ ಆರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡೆಡ್ ಶೋ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ದ ಈವೆಂಟ್ Uh, they are celebrate they might be celebrating here we don't know the full details but in the english articles written on uh, telugu people's um, uh, websites that's what i just uh, communicating as it is and uh, this choudhury uh, community kamma uh, caste group people came and uh, they tear the chiranjeevi and pavan kalyan posters and they called this uh, kapu caste people as i am they have written the same thing i am reading kapu caste people as alka janam alka janam means cheap people is what kamma people call first of all why i am laughing americans call indians as cheap labor h1v or whatever you know right you might be watching my videos how can one person call another person as cheap labor when we are all cheap right Uh, if we are rich americans would have come to our house and clean toilets right um, it is other way around right we beg visas we are begging green cards or whatever hey anyway, this is not part of that uh, article so in that article they wrote like that and uh, they started fighting that means the ca- kamma caste people kc chekuri started hitting them i think they might have crossed the uh, abusive telugu language uh, scolding each other's mother or sisters like that it might be done and the event managers that means probably the americans is what i guess from my understanding and knowledge uh, for the last 15 years event managers means mostly the place belongs to americans right so they try to defuse the fire that means they are fighting but they are trying to defuse it but uh, it's out of control and then they call cop see in america you can uh, uh, scold each other verbally man but when you touch someone physically then you are gone and then cops came and then they arrested kc chekuri and then they put him behind bars now tana people <laughs> entered the scene tana old members that's what they wrote tana means um, it's a telugu organization uh, is what they registered on the front end back end is uh, completely com- choudhury caste people living in america formed as a group okay the same way reddies formed velamas formed kapus formed brahmins formed dalits formed of course every caste five major caste in hinduism and 25000 sub caste so every caste has their groups here so the it's a headache for americans so the moment they give visa to um, indians the caste become global problems it's a problem in india but is now global right and they also place the cisco hcl uh, article case also what happened kamana i don't copnaidu when i study about the caste both of the caste groups belongs to lower caste only but they fight each other over superiority of over each other and uh, what happened kamanaidu uh, 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 abusive uh, towards the kopnaidu employees and kopnaidu filed a lawsuit so if you are an american watching my video please don't hire an indians because uh, if you hire more than one indian in your team then sucks they will fight each other over caste and you don't understand their last name concept right indian last name caste system and all then finally they screw up your project so please don't uh, hire uh, indians that's what i would like to communicate through this video thank you